Hi, my name is Patrick McCarthy, a maths tutor from London. Today I'm going to teach you some math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify fractions. Now, fractions are basically anything written one thing over another. So let's take um, 52 over 14. That's a fraction. And a more common fraction would be something like 2 thirds or 1 half or 1 quarter, 3 quarters, etc. Fractions are one thing over another. Now, sometimes, this is how we like to see fractions, one over four, three quarters. We can, we can kind of relate to this. This, we can't quite relate to. So what we try and do is simplify it into a term that we can, we can recognize. Basically, we make these numbers as low as possible. Now, to do that, you have to look for a number that, divide, that multiplies to make this, and a number that multiplies to make this, or put differently, what goes into 14 and what goes into 52, and we look for the same thing. So whenever you're dealing with fractions, to keep it the same, you've got to do exactly the same to the top that you do to the bottom. You can't change that, so you must do. So let's say I want to look to simplify this fraction, 52 over 14. Now what I need to do is look for a number that goes into 14 and goes into 52. Now it's always easiest to start with two. I can see these are both even numbers, so two definitely goes into this one. So whatever I'm gonna to do to the top, I have to do to the bottom. So let's say I divide this top number by two. So if I divide the top by two, I have to divide the bottom by two. And in doing that, I haven't changed anything. I've just simplified it. So 52 divided by two, that's 26. And 14 divided by two, that's seven. So this fraction here, all I've done is divide the top by two and the bottom by two, and I've changed nothing. But So 26 over seven is exactly the same as 52 over 14. Now, when I get to this stage, I look for a number that goes into this and goes into this. However, there are no numbers that go into seven except for seven and one. But seven doesn't go into 26. So that means I've simplified that one as far as I can go, because there's no number that divides into seven and 26. So let's take another example. Let's take 32 divided by, uh, let's say, 18. Now we'll just change that to 20. So like I always say, start with two because it's easiest. There are other numbers that go into these two, but we'll start with two. So what divides into 32 and 20? Well, they're both even, so let's start with two. So we'll divide the top by two and the bottom by two. So the top divided by two, 32 divided by two, that's 16. Now I've divided the top by two, so I have to divide the bottom by two. 20 divided by two, that's 10. So that is the same as that, but that's a simpler version of that. But when we get to this, we can simplify it further. Does two go into 16? Yes, it does. Does two go into 10? Yes, it does. So. 16 divided by 2, well that's 8. Now I've divided the top by 2, so I have to divide the bottom by 2. 10 divided by 2, that's 5. So that is the same as that, but that's simpler. Now can I look for another number that goes into 8 and 5? Well, I can't, nothing will go in, so that's as simple as it will get. So that's 8 fifths. And if you think of 8 fifths, That's one pie, that's another pie, chicken pie for instance, right? Just to imagine you've got friends around and you cook two pies. You've got eight friends, but you divide this into fifths. Something like... One fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, six, five fifths. And the same thing with the other pie. So you divide two pies into five, now, eight fifths represents this. That's one fifth, that's two fifths, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight fifths is actually one, one whole pie, and three fifths. So one pie and three fifths. I always think of fractions as pies, and it seems to help. And that's how to simplify fractions. 